Hey, folks. Welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This intraday video is for Wednesday, April 7th, 2010. Well, folks, the markets are lower today across the board, not by much by any stretch, but we are seeing a little bit of selling over the last 30 minutes, 45 minutes, which is taking the markets back solidly to the downside. The Dow is down 42 points, the NASDAQ is down 1.5 points, and the S&P 500 down about 4 points as well. Basically, S&P and the Dow are down one-third of 1%, while the NASDAQ is just fractionally lower on the day. Now, what's driving this market today? Again, initially, we saw the dollar being stronger today. The dollar, again, gapping higher, putting a little pressure on the markets initially, and that's what caused the gap down. Interestingly enough, if you take a look at yesterday's closing move in the markets, you can clearly see an in-spirit of bear flag pattern. I pointed this out to my premium subscribers last night in the Research Center nightly video, and as you can see, the move down yesterday off the 119.20 level, which by the way was another master level that I gave to my Research Center subscribers and intraday stock chat subscribers literally weeks ago, that level again came off beautifully, and you came right down here, consolidated. Look at this one, two, three bar consolidation. That is known as an in-spirit of bear flag pattern. That pattern again playing out beautifully with the gap down today. Then look at what happens. Again, you go sideways, creating a new bear flag. Now, how do I mean bear flag here? Well, clearly you can see the in-spirit of right here. The gap down creates the down move. So that's your in-spirit of playing out right here on the downward move in-spirit of bear flag. Then you have another one right here off of the drop down the gap down and that continues to complete itself taking you all the way down towards yesterday's lows at this point the market starts to rally the volume starts to die out very quickly and again the markets move up nicely pull back move up again this is on the back of the 10-year the 10-year auction went off very very well today the markets did get a nice little spike up on that and moved to the highs of the day actually taking the markets to the positive side However, comments continue to be coming out today from Federal Reserve uh, board members all over the world, in fact, not only in the United States, the Federal Reserve, but all over, even in Europe and other places. And there's a lot of talk about how the U.S. needs to raise interest rates very, very quickly. A lot of almost revolt, you're getting the sense. And that is putting the markets under pressure here. Those came out about 45 minutes ago or so, and the market has sold off very nicely, coming towards uh, the lows from today. Not quite there yet, but getting to that level, coming down into this green trend line support. Now, the green trend line support was actually broken earlier today. Let me just show you that here by erasing these lines. I don't want to confuse anyone here. Uh, this green trend line was broken, but notice how it was never confirmed. Confirmation did not occur. Therefore, that green trend line still holds up. The market bouncing up beautifully, pulling back up again here, and then again pulling back right to that support line. So this green line continues to be support. If you take this out, you should hit the lows of the day, possibly this low from yesterday as well, which would be right around the 118.30 level. By the way, that level will be coming in. Once you get to that 118.30, 118.20 level, you then become into the previous master level of support, which was resistance until we burst through it a few days ago. All right, so just keep your eyes on this market. This market continues to trade. Uh, yesterday and the day before, the volume was insanely light. In fact, today the volume is better. Now, it's not amazing volume. It looks like we're on pace to do about $150 million, but yesterday and the day before, we were only doing $100 million in volume on the SPY. That is insanely light, folks, to the borderline of might as well have the markets closed if you're going to do that little volume, in my opinion. But in any case, today alone, Alone. We've done 106 million. We are basically equal to yesterday's volume and more than the previous day volume, and it's only 2:30 right now, 2:30 p.m. Eastern time, coming into that time frame in about two minutes of time. Now, again, what's driving this market today? Obviously, the dollar is key. Let's take a look at the dollar here. The dollar again still up slightly on the day, but right around the flat line. But as I mentioned, comments coming out are really creating a little bit of a buzz in the markets and causing some selling pressure. Now, what are some leading stocks to the downside today? What are we seeing? Well, first of all, Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil, look at that nice little dump. In fact, this is actually a pretty nice in spirit of bear flag pattern that's now playing out. Look at this. This low pivot right to this low pivot right to this, and it finally broke down. Now you're seeing the selling on Exxon. In addition, Chevron. Let's take a look at Chevron. Chevron is down about 44 cents. Same thing, rolling over here nicely as the market has come in. Uh, other stocks under pressure. Those are more from the commodity sectors. U.S. Steel down a dollar 63. That's a nice drop. Cleveland Cliffs down over a dollar. I gave a highlight on the hot charts and alerts last night to my Premium Research Center subscribers that again highlighted Cleveland Cliffs because it had a topping tail on the daily yesterday, and I said it could yield more downside. 
upside. Look at this topping tail right here on the daily Cleveland Cliffs chart, and look at the continued downside. And again, if you read the charts correctly, they will dictate the moves in the market coming up. And it's all about having to read the charts correctly. So keep in mind, you want to watch for that. What other stocks are moving? Goldman Sachs is still very strong today. As weak as the markets are today, and probably the markets are one of the weakest days in about a week or so uh, overall. But even with that weakness, folks, believe it or not, Goldman Sachs is still up $4.50 at the highs of the day. That is absolutely astounding. Generally, Goldman Sachs is a leader. It's bucking the trend today, keeping the markets up, but not enough to keep the markets really solidly positive or flat as we do see the markets down slightly on the day. Now, J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is also a leader that is under pressure today. You can see J.P.M. down on the day, down about 32 cents, and we'll continue to watch that from the financial area. Apple Computer is still up a little bit, up about $1.35 today on the day, so Apple Computer bucking the trend as well. NASDAQ, percentage-wise, as I mentioned before, is a little stronger than um, the overall Dow and the S&P. So you're seeing Research in Motion fractionally positive. You're seeing Apple positive. You're seeing Baidu fractionally positive. You're seeing other stocks out there, you know, flat to positive in the technology realm, and that is keeping the overall technology sector, the NASDAQ, from really having the losses the same size as on the uh, Dow and the S&P. Nonetheless, folks, you can see here today, let's look at the USO. USO is having a nice drop here, down about 41 cents, really at the lows of the day. Uh, and those of you in the Research Center, those of you that aren't, know that I went out and made a call on the bearer side of the USO off of the 42.10 level. So far, 50 cents in the money off that call for anyone that took that in the Research Center. So well done there. Congratulations to that. Again, come join the Research Center. We're introducing new services. Text message alerts should be up next week, late next week. That will be fantastic. So anything that's get posted, you'll get alerts on now, uh, text message or email. In addition, live broadcast, no hype broadcast will be now unveiled in the Research Center as well, included. And that will again start taking place in a couple weeks as well. So be there. Be ready. Ready, get involved. Market's going to be wild next week because of earnings, and I'll just be ready for it. And let's trade it. Join the research center. Join the chat room. We'll see you there. Take care.